Well, everyone, it is getting blustery outside, but hotter than ever in here, especially today. Hi, everyone. I'm Ian Drew, senior editor here at Us Weekly Magazine, with this week's very special musical guest, Eli Lieb, right from the cornfields of Iowa. That is right. Oh, my God. See, very good things come from the middle of the country. We know that here, including this album, uh, your new self-titled debut, right? Yeah, that's correct. Eli Lieb. It is on, uh, it's out there everywhere now and on your website. It's on my website, elilieb.com. Um, you can purchase the physical CD there, and it's also available on iTunes, Amazon, pretty much any place you can download music, you can buy it. Yeah. But we're going to talk about some other sensations right now. That's hot stuff, the usual, top five sizzling stories from our new issue, right here on usmagazine.com. First up, Teresa Judice, The Reunion Fallout. Now, I've heard you haven't watched The Reunion. Of I have not. I have a key vote, and I'm very anxious to see it. All right. I don't want to spoil too much, but it's very heated. I would imagine. <laughs> she, she did some heated stuff this season. Yes. And no one is speaking to Teresa now. A source says Carolyn is done with her, that there is too much water under the bridge to go back to it again. And uh, I feel like with her, even if you're like on her best terms, you're still walking on thin ice. Oh, yes. You have to be... You don't just call anyone an Olive Garden Italian and get away no. with it. So... But anyway, they're, they're not making up anytime soon. And uh, Carolyn actually told us that they're never going to reunite. They're not... It's done. And next, Prince Harry took it to America to be a commoner. He uh, has been in San Diego, of course, doing some naval training and stuff like that. And he ate a $6 breakfast while he was here. Yeah, he had... Egg, eggs and bacon. Was uh, he on like a commoner's world tour? Yes. Going to town to town, going to your diner? And he did street meat. He ate at an El Centro taco cart as well. So Prince Harry, it's not exactly what he got at Buckingham Palace, but I'm sure they made a variation of it. It's very brave of him. Yes. Next thing, we'll see him browsing for Grey Poupon in the supermarket. I saw at the Iowa State Fair, people oh. had dipped fried butter on a stick. Oh. Which is, he could try that. That sounds, that, that sounds like you very would, Olive Garden Italian. I feel like you would die if you ate that. <laughs> yeah, I mean. And next, Nicole's going solo. Well, I've been watching X Factor because I've had an extra two hours every night on my hands. I don't know about you. I have not. But uh, Nicole has been looking very good on the show, and she's single again now, fellas. Get that. Yeah, Lewis Hamilton, her race car driving boyfriend, and her have split. Apparently, they've been traveling too much. He was racing around Switzerland, and she was racing around L.A. And, and all who's racing around night. other people? Yes, exactly. Not you, that you, I know. You, you, no? You don't have any intel? No. Oh. I don't even know who he was until you said he's a race car driver. Oh, no, no. And next, uh, NSYNC reunites. Yes, at Chris Kirkpatrick's 40th birthday party. Who knew he'd be 40 now? I guess. So are they boy bands now, or is it a man band? They're they're definitely not a boy band anymore. I don't know. They're <laughs> a man band. He, he had some gray if hair under those uh, twirls that he had in his hair, I guess. I don't know that we didn't see. But <laughs> Justin Timberlake and the whole group got together at his birthday party in, Atlanta, in Orlando, but still a source says this is not a full reunion, so don't get your panties up in a bunch yet. Speaking of reunions, I just saw Boys to Men perform. Amazing. 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 They still got it going on. Except the guy in the deep voice. He's gone, right? The one who, who would yeah, go. Yeah, there was one missing. Yeah, remember the I one who would always missing. go. His whole job was to walk around with a cane and go, hey, baby, I love you. He's you like, know, he's, the, like he's the, whole, the money. Yeah. And next, Chloe Grace Moretz. You know who she is? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> She was hanging out with Diana Agron at the Frederick Fakai Vogue event in LA uh, last week. And you can at least know what she looks like before you Google her to find out who she is because there's a picture in this week's VIP scene. So that's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> great. And that's all the time we have left for this week. Uh, once again, I'm Ian Drew, senior editor here at Us Weekly Magazine with YouTube sensation and Iowa singer Eli Lieb in the house. And uh, thank you for coming by. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, anytime. And you can catch out, you can catch his new album on his aptly named website, elileave.com, and our new issue on Newsstands Now.